H2PO4 minus plus H3O plus. At the start, 1.00 at equilibrium, 1.00 minus x, x, and x. Ka equals 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3 equals x squared over 1.00 minus x. Now let's try our usual approximation. Although I warned you, it's not going to work very well. But still, let's try it. If x is much less than 1.00, this is easy to solve. Then x squared is simply 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3 and x is about 8.7 times 10 to the negative 2, or 8.7%. That's not acceptable. That's greater than our 5% rule. We have to do the quadratic route. Not too challenging. If we cross multiply and clear this of fractions, our quadratic looks like x squared plus 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3x minus 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3 equals 0. And by applying the standard calculation to that, we get that going back to the supplemental problems, we will just give the result x equals eight. 0.3 times 10 to the negative 2. Notice the difference. It's substantial, not horrible. I mean, we were within a few percent by neglecting x in comparison with 1. But the accurate calculation gives us 8.3 times negative 10 to the negative 2, from which the pH equals 1.08. Now, you may be wondering why I have not bothered to add in all the other stages of ionization. That would give even more hydro hydronium ion concentration. The answer is pretty straightforward. The other stages can only give 10 to the negative 5 additional hydronium ion because their Ka's are factors of 10 to the 5th lower than the first ionization stage. So, the second and third ionizations are so insignificant in this context that they just don't count. And that's because of the very small Ka2 and Ka3 values. Now, under some circumstances, under some pH conditions, different ionizations come into play. And uh, we should mention that it's perfectly uh, simple. Red one can readily obtain 
salts of all three of these acids. Potassium dihydrogen phosphate, dipotassium hydrogen phosphate, for example, and potassium phosphate are all isolable salts. In a later lecture, we shall see some of the applications of some of these salts. Now, I've already mentioned that the salts of some uh, polyprotic acids are themselves of interest. We looked at TSP. which is a base 